I got home at 12.30, probably went to bed around 3 and I was in the weight room at 9 a.m. We enjoy it, I mean, there's no other way to put it, there's no reason why we wouldn't be back in there if we didn't enjoy being in there with each other and having fun and working hard. And seeing how the past has uh, happened, that really motivates us because we want to be as good or better than those teams in the past. So I mean, we just enjoy every day being together, those three months without each other was really tough, you know, because we missed each other. We're just glad to be back out here and working with each other and having fun. A big advantage because we just we just love to work out. We just want to get better and all. The kids have built a culture around here that it's like no days off. You know what I mean? Like, And that's been the culture the last few years and these kids are no exception. They're in there every day with enthusiasm, you know, like encouraging each other and being positive with the young kids and teaching the 6th, 7th, 8th, and ninth grade is what it's going to take. Um, it is just cool to watch. You know, it's cool to watch when these guys were in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade and the older guys teach them and now they're 11th and 12th graders and they're encouraging the 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. Listen, we do this every day and it's it's almost like a, you know, I, I call it the old boys club. They didn't get the boys time, but every day I sent out a daily workout and I know my kid never missed a day. He did four straight months and I'm sure the rest of these kids, I mean, when you're home 24 hours with nothing to do, you better get your workout in. And almost every kid I talked to, they got the workout in every day, whether it was like, you know, jugs of sand or whatever they had at home. But we sent out a, seven days a week a daily workout and uh, I think most of them did it. I was where um, off season was nice. I um, worked out with my cousin Ryan, he's from North. Um, we worked out probably like four hours a day and pulling the truck was um, like an every other week type of thing, just uh, to, as a leg day workout. But um, just try, we were just trying to get tra focused on getting better and all. What's been your message to them with this month being the way it is right now? Don't worry about things that are out of our control. You know, worry about what we can control. Uh, we might practice a whole month and they might shut us down and we might play in March and April is what I'm hearing. And if that's the case, use this month to help us if we do play in March and April. You know, take this stuff we're learning and, and, and you know, remember it. So, you know, every day you just try to put some bricks and by the end of the year you get a nice house. We have a good base on defense and offense. We have a lot of returning starters. A couple kids like Mason Russ and uh, Carson Andonia coming back on defense who made some big plays in the state's game. And on offense, I mean, I think we'll do, be just as well in the trenches. I mean, we have, our line has been put into work and we have German back and I think we're a little bit bigger this year, so we'll see. One last season with the boys is all I want. These guys I've been around with since sixth grade and, you know, looking back from then to now, this is all that I wanted, one last season. We're, uh, we're at the top. I mean, I'm, I'm just excited to be out here. I mean, it might be it's kind of uncertain right now, even if we're going to play, but I'm just glad that we're practicing. Um, it's good to hear that if it gets canceled, we could potentially play in the spring. A lot up in the air. You know, you don't really know if you're going to have a season or not. You just have to work as hard as you can um, to expect to have a season, because if we do, you don't want to be on the weekend. You want to be as much in shape and as strong as you can to go and make another run for a state championship.